to find a way inside the fort. Talk to Chief Urgosh. They're working on a plan to get into Frostbreak Fortress. You're fun. He's the leader of the Winterborn Reachmen. Last of the 13 warlords that invaded Rothkar, in fact. Your fun's a tough son of a horker, I'll give him that. I let him know we were on our way. Hopefully that'll spice up the battle to come. <laughs>
a sight! Look at those catapults fly! I'm amazed the towers can withstand the punishment. The Bretons must have used orc crafters, and they've built that place to last. But never fear, the Winterborn won't have a fort to protect them for much longer. Kirog summoned the chiefs of Rothgar to besiege the Winterborn. One of our biggest problems are those Briarheart monstrosities. For every one we kill, two more take its place. I know there's a solution, but damn if it doesn't. We need to get inside the fort. Find out where they're spawning those abominations. But the damn harpies! We can't walk five steps without becoming bird food. Siege Commander Dolph's working on a plan. I hope it's a good one, for all our sake. This is the Winterborn's final stand. We destroy the Briarhearts while Kirog deals with their warlord, Iceheart. If we succeed, Kirog will have ended a threat that has plagued us for far too long. Maybe then I'll consider accepting him as our king. Surprising, isn't it? We're pretty sure they're all connected through the Hag Ravens, or whatever you call those ugly old hags. It wouldn't surprise me if the Briarhearts are also their creation. They're all vile, a lot of them. The Briarheart warriors are like the undead, only worse. They talk to each other, think on their own, behave just like any other soldier. But there's no way they're alive, not with half their chest hanging wide open. I guess you haven't experienced a Winterborn raid yet. You can actually see their foul hearts beating inside their open chests. Except, they aren't hearts at all. More like some sort of malignant growth. It's unsettling to see, to say the least. You can say that. It started when he claimed the title of king. Many chiefs aren't ready to bend their knee to Kirog. It's not the orc way. But Kirog knows how to conduct a battle. Look around! No clan could muster a force such as this. Chirag believes that the orcs need a united kingdom. We've banded together to defend our land, but beyond that, we'll see. The Winterborn have been ransacking Rothgar for years. At least Chirag has brought us together to try to put an end to that. Hit the Winterborn with everything we've got. Perhaps, but tradition sometimes is too high a wall to climb over. We're a proud and stubborn people. New ideas, they frighten us. And Chirag is full of new ideas. A new city, a new god, it's more than many of us can take. But if he wins the day... For King I heard some red guard. Don't let up! Dog. Get the Winterborn with red. everything we've got! If you don't find the alchemist and destroy those nests, we'll never break this siege! I'd rather be pretty. You heard him! For the king! Get down! No! Ah! Like I lose General more soldiers Dose that could way. use a hand. You, you brought the king here? Then welcome to our siege camp. Sorry you had to see those damn harpies at work. I'm not sure King Korog should be walking around out in the open, but I've got a barrel full of my own worries to deal with. 
If you want to become bird food, I'm not going to stop you. And after losing more soldiers to the Harpies, I'm ready to accept any help I can get. Besides, anything is better than what the little Wood Elf was able to accomplish. Sent her in with a squad of orcs to deal with the Harpy Nest for hours. Figured if the nests were on fire, the distraction would allow another squad to get in and put an end to the Briar Hearts. A volunteer? I appreciate that kind of go get em attitude. If you do manage to find either of the missing squads, remind them that they have their orders. I expect them to complete their missions. The outcome of this siege depends on them. The main path is too well defended. You'll be a lamb led to the slaughter if you go that way. Our siege provides some cover, so you might be able to sneak around the left side of the fort. And the right side is clear, except for the harpies. I sent the Wood Elf and one squad to set fire to the Harpy Nests. The other squad is supposed to find the source of the Briar Hearts and put an end to that threat. But everything hinged on dealing with the Harpies. We just can't get past the birds. My siege engineers can easily calibrate the trebuchets to launch direct strikes against the Airy Towers. They just need something to target. That's the first squad's mission. Mark the airy so we can knock it out of the sky. The Winterborn Zombies? Not much. Our alchemist, Alinan, has some experience dealing with the Reach. He thinks the Hag Ravens grow the hearts, planting them and harvesting them like grapes from a vine. A disgusting image, I know, but that's Alinan. That's what Alinan thinks. As long as he can put a stop to the foul things, I don't care how crazy his ideas sound. But he's with the second squad, somewhere on the other side of those walls. Not Alinan, things complicated. and stay out of the way, Elf. They actually said that to me. We're surrounded by death and destruction and they're worried that an outsider might show them up. They can take their pride and... Sorry, sorry. I'm a little stressed. You and the King have come to our aid? We're honored. But we've been trapped in here for too long. We still have a mission to...
once again we underestimated the Winterborn's capabilities. They caught scent of us as soon as we penetrated the walls. Harpies from above, Winterborn from all sides. We lost a lot of soldiers before we were able to take refuge in this tower. We need to get our archer into position to mark the Harpy Iries so that our catapults can target them and destroy them. We lost all of our archers. The Wood Elf's all we have left. I hope she's as good of a shot as she claims to be. Our squad split off right after we entered the fortress. They're protecting the Breton Alchemist who's supposed to be able to put an end to the Briarheart threat. But it doesn't matter if they're dead or alive if we don't deal with the Harpies. If you can clear us a path to the towers, we can get the Elf into position so she can loose her signal arrows. Then the catapults can do their work. We need to hurry. We've lost too much time already. Sure. Good work, outsider. The wood elf is right behind me. I'm getting really tired of you orcs trying to leave me be. That's strange. Where did the sergeant go? How typical. Now I know why Orsinium put out that call for help. Well, at least you're still here. Let me know when you want me to light the signal. favor and don't let any of those filthy harpies get too close. I'd hate to get carried off because I was busy concentrating on making this Keep up, Elf. Those harpies aren't going to but kill themselves. But there are so many stairs. No time for complaints, either. We have a mission to complete. All right, all right, pushy orc. 
Just tell me when you want me to make the strike. Gusting winds, flying birds trying to eat us, fire everywhere. But that up there, that's a stationary target that needs an arrow in it. Two Ares destroyed, no problem. Now, let's find the Breton Alchemist. Look at it burn. Recognize that orc standing beside you. That's King Kurog. I'm honored that you and the king came to find me. I just wish you had gotten here sooner, before the rest of my squad was lost. supposed to wait until the nests were destroyed before heading inside to find the source of the briar hearts but the women, they found us soldiers i ran i'm not proud of it but i'm alive that's what matters Someone has to destroy the source of the Briar Hearts, and I've dealt with the Reach before. They're a rather unhealthy obsession of mine. I know their beliefs, the way they attune with nature. Those Briar Hearts, they're as natural as you and I. I need to get inside to confirm it. I need to see how they're applying their magic. That will lead me to Briar Hearts. But you'll need to keep me alive. A lot of people are counting on me to succeed. There's nothing else we can do out here. Let's get inside. the only alchemist available. I wish I wasn't, but here I am. Besides, that's with the reach. Of course, I never expected to end up in the middle of a...
I've encountered reach magic before. I'm almost certain that these briar hearts are grown in some fashion. Not unlike apples or grapes or juniper berries. From what I've been able to observe, when a winterborn warrior falls, the prior hearts are used to somehow bring them back from the dead. I'm pretty sure the Hag Ravens are involved in the... If I'm right, and the prior hearts are grown, then I can destroy... I'll know for certain once we get inside and look around. I want to make sure I mix the elixir correctly. Wouldn't want to inadvertently make them stronger, you understand? You found him! I love being the king! Come, come, follow me. If my suspicions are correct, we shouldn't have any trouble finding what I'm looking for. We're all going to die down here, aren't we? Keep your eyes open. We're looking for a plant or a root. Something that doesn't appear quite natural. Something odd, out of place. Something like this. Now there's something you don't see every day. A tree growing out of a corpse. I'd say this is what we're looking for. This sapling is but a root, however. A small part of a greater whole. Reach magic corrupts nature. It uses its innate properties to forge terrible powers. 
The briar hearts require a large to nurture them and make them grow. But this vile sapling is septic. I can feel energy flowing through it. We need to destroy some of these saplings. Cut off their power to weaken the central tree. Once weakened, I can apply an alchemical solution to the central tree, wherever it grows, and hopefully destroy it, roots and all. Each magic invades nature, the way a plague violates an infirm body. It changes its host, taking hold and letting its corruption grow stronger. It creates defenses, barriers that can't be easily overcome. It needs to be weakened before we lay siege. Find the saplings and burn as many as you can. That will weaken the corruption and make the defenses more fragile. Meanwhile, I'll concoct a potion using clippings from these little ones. Leave the elf here if you would. I could use the protection. Leave the sapling I found alone. I'll use it to prepare and test my elixir while you burn as many of the others as you can. By the turn, I'll have developed a poison powerful enough to eat through the central tree's weakened defenses. Not exactly. In some ways it's the same, but in many others it's completely different. The last time I dealt with Reach Magic, they were utilizing vines as big as you or I. This is an entirely new type of twisted magic, even for them. I'm completely confident of my abilities. That's just my nature. At its core, Reach Magic is all the same. They just employ different vessels for their perversions. Once you know how to kill one vile and twisted plant, you can kill them all.
even though you're already defeated. What sad little creatures you are. Share to our beloved tree. Your actions do not surprise me. Orcs and allies all believe they are stronger than the Reach. Foolish even to the end. I am preparing myself. Going through the ritual period of solitary heart in my body. Once I take my place as a Briarheart warrior, I will kill you and rain death down upon the orcs who befoul our land. Our magic, you will never understand. To receive a Briar Heart is a precious gift. That is a singular honor. The Hagrifts, even as they care for the tree upon which the sacred fruit grows. What a terrible enemy you are. You don't even know about the source of your own doom. I would feel sorry for you. But instead, I just want to kill you even faster. Of course I know about the tree. It gives the sacred fruit life. It is strong, powerful, eternal. It cannot be destroyed. It hates you, you know. Because you burn its babies. I will kill you for doing that too. Once I get my briar heart. You think you can destroy our iron axes? Bah! Your tools are useless! The tree's roots run strong and deep. But please, feel free to give it a try. The Hag Ravens will eat your eyes and use your body for fertilizer. Angry! I am burning with a righteous rage. Once I have joined the ranks of the Briarheart warriors, that anger will fuel my vengeance and the people. What haven't the orcs done? 
They claim land that rightfully belongs to... They attack and kill my people. They eat food that should be eaten by Winterborn. They are animals. Not even the help of outsiders will save them from my wrath. I suppose you, maybe, might have seen Alanon on your way back? Maybe? Listen, it wasn't my fault. Alanon sent me to get him some moss that grows on the walls down here. When I got back, the alchemist was gone. Right, that's an excellent plan. But you should take this. Elanon said it was the last ingredient he needed to finish his elixir. I don't see as Al could have the rest of the components with him. If the tree hasn't eaten them yet. What? No, of course not. At least, I don't think it ate him. He told me that the Winterborn plant Briarheart seeds in dead bodies. The seed eats the body nourishes the tree. Really listening. Well, I went that way to gather them. It's gone the other way. Probably turn right at the bend ahead. Let's split up. We can cover more ground that way. Besides, I kind of feel faults and all that.
Don't blame the elf. She was just following orders. Tell you the truth, I need more soldiers like her in my army.